Hi everybody. Welcome to Quantum Data. Today, we're going to go over the highest paid NHL players from 1989 to 2019. Make sure to watch until the end, to discover who is the player who earns the most money. Enjoy! When one pictures a pro athlete, they often equate the amount of money with their skill level. In an era where athletes in many sports are signing nine-figure deals that increase by the year, the NHL lags far behind. Its best players make a fraction of what baseball, basketball, and football stars make. We think the NHL should consider giving its players a raise. When one says hockey players don't make much money, it doesn't mean the players are living in poverty. The NHL is still a multi-billion dollar industry that pays its players quite well, as Forbes explains. But relative to other sports, the NHL lags behind, especially when you consider that the season is long and players put themselves on the line multiple times a week. While it is easy to make the NHL the villain here, the fact of the matter is that popularity brings money. Hockey is a distant fourth behind basketball, football, and baseball in North America. NHL players won't have the singular draw that LeBron James or Tom Brady does. With rare exceptions like Wayne Gretzky, it doesn't produce international superstars. The NHL salary cap is expected to go higher than $100 million in a few years. The reason for this is that the NHL will have a new TV deal in the United States and the players are going to look to cash in. Let's be honest. At the highest level of professional sports the vast majority of athletes are overpaid. Then again, if you're among the best at your sport in the entire world you're likely an invaluable commodity to your team. In that sense, it's hard to argue that the very best hockey players are overpaid, especially in a salary cap system.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of quantum data. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.